second and three sequencers being released by Whitehorse, the sit and spin is more than just a 16 step sequencer. Its dual mode function allows you to trigger groups of notes or samples. The built in scale function also allows you to quickly make melodies, and the ability to add drift and volume changes to your triggers adds an organicness to your parts. The re-triggering function allows you to create endless variations to help fill out static parts you might have in your mix. So let's just talk about the drums real quick. Uh, this can be split up into a dual or mono triggering situation. So right here we see that it is at C negative two um, and it has seven notes that it's gonna play. So when it's down to one note, all it's playing is the C negative two, which is gonna be this note. So it's gonna be just playing this. Now we can make it play three notes, the first note and then two more. So this is gonna be triggering through that. And so this is the pattern that's gonna be generated. Now then we can also go into a dual mode. So it separates it into, we're playing um, this uh, G sharp and one other note, which is gonna be these two snare notes. And then we have three notes that are gonna be down here um, that are gonna be playing these three. So these are color coded for um, blue and green. And so this bottom is gonna be blue and this top one's gonna be green. Let's turn off all the blue notes, and now we're only hearing the green notes, which are these two snares. So this is the pattern that's going to be played. This is the probability, and these are the triggered notes. We'll add the blue notes back in, and it'll also trigger some of the green notes, and we'll keep this at a probability of 80. Now we have a re-triggering, so let's just wipe these out. And so you can see that the re-triggering is based on all the blue notes. And the green notes are ones that are manually inputted in. There are three different ways to control the re-triggering. And sync means that it's being re-triggered every bar, but we can change this to different steps if we want. The way complexity works is that there's a specific pattern that goes from zero with no notes being triggered to 35 where all of them are being triggered. This pattern can be changed by spinning or rotating it. This allows for almost any note pattern to be generated. So the drift dial means that there's a percentage of drift or delay added to the trigger. And at 100%, that means that the note is gonna be triggered or delayed by a 16th note. And so the percentage underneath denotes the probability of the triggered note having this delay. But it doesn't just trigger the percentage delay it triggers between zero and the amount shown on the dial. This means that the delay varies and creates a more natural sound and is less stiff and robotic. At zero percent, the delay is always triggered and at that dial value. But at 100%, the trigger will be between the dial value and zero. And with velocity, it's now set to 127. And with 100%, that means that there's gonna be a chance of the velocity being from zero to 127. So if you have it at 50%, the velocity can vary between 127 and 64. And if you have it 25%, then it goes from 127 to 95. So the variation gets smaller and smaller, but it's maintaining the higher volume. So it's a nice simple way to create a little bit of variety in your velocity. Now let's talk about how the sit and spin works with the synth. So we have right here, we're just um, triggering the, uh, the, the base part of the pattern. And so that's gonna be the um, blue, and we have it set to Mixolydian, and we have four notes that are gonna be played. And uh, we have a little bit of drift, and we have a little bit of uh, velocity, volume uh, variation. We can set it to either gate, which is just the 16th note, or we can do a sustain, so um, it will sustain that triggered note until the next note is going to be um, triggered. And so then we will unmute the top notes, which is going to be these green notes. 
And so we are in F4 and we're playing a Dorian scale and it's gonna be these notes that are triggered in this pattern. So with just one sample and two sentence bin plugins, we're able to create a constantly changing bass line, melody, and rhythm. With this plugin, you're able to have much more control compared to the typical 16-step sequencer. All the random pattern functions, drift and volume controls make this a one-stop plugin for creating constantly varying rhythms, melodies, or triggering samples. This video touches only on some of the functionality of the plugin, so download the manual to check out all the parameters this plugin has. Hope you enjoy. Thanks